Hey everybody and welcome to GameSpot's unboxing of the newly announced Amazon Fire TV. I'm Sean McInnes and this is Danny O'Dwyer. Hi. Now Danny, the Fire TV is not just a device for streaming House of Cards. It's not. Awesome. It's not, believe it or not. It's also part of Amazon's new gaming initiative. They started up their own internal game development studio and they're actually releasing a brand new exclusive title for this device here. Oh my god, House of Cards the video game. House of Cards the video game. That may or may not be it. Uh, but we just got it today and we're going to unbox it. So you want to do the honor? Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah, you can have so that. we've got the unit there and the controller is coming up next. So we're going to de-glove it first of all. Yeah, so um, the device itself comes with the streaming box and the control or and the remote and that's $99. The controller is an additional $40. Ooh, okay, yeah. we've, we've opened it here. Here we go. I believe this is the... That's it. The unit. It's pretty small. You want to unbox that while sure, I... Sure, yeah. Or unwrap it, unsheath it. I feel like I'm opening up like a fancy CD case. Ooh, and I've got a remote control here. Pretty, uh, pretty light on the contents, which I guess is kind of the point of this. Yeah. It's not taking up too much room. So here is the unit itself, the Amazon Fire TV. It's uh, obviously a pretty nondescript black square. Yeah. Um, much like the Apple TV, it's kind of meant to just blend into your entertainment system. Um, very small, very unobtrusive. Let's take a look at the ports on the back. Let's got see some, what we got. Got some, HDMI. got some sweet ports here. All right, so what do we got? We've got the power port, we've got HDMI, optical audio, we've got an ethernet cable for wired audio, for wired networking, it also supports Wi-Fi, and of course a USB plug in the back there, and that's, I mean, it's pretty much it. It's a tiny little, uh, tiny little I subtle like device. Yeah, you know, it's no, simple. It's corners and it, yeah. it, I guess the type of people who are gonna get this are probably going to have a bunch of stuff already, so yes. you know, yeah. as nondescript as possible. The uh, power, brick here, or it's just, you know, simple, into the wall, there's no there's no brick attached to the power cord. Nice little Amazon uh, logo on that as well. Yep. So you know if someone's stolen your power cord. Uh, and <laughs> That's then where it goes. here's the remote control. Again, it's pretty, you know, inobtrusive. It has play, fast forward, rewind, and then, you know, Oh, bunch and of home stuff, and then this kind of radio. It radio. also does voice search. So it's oh, got really? a little microphone on there, so you hold the uh, little, voice button here and you say search for House of Cards House the video of, game. House of Cards the video game. I want to play it. I hear it's a good tactical not RPG. Found. Does not, not exist. Found. Does not exist. So let's You've also got batteries. We've, oh it comes with batteries. Comes with batteries. Comes in an Amazon yeah. Amazon Basics brand. Which says batteries, what's in too. the box. Alright. What's in the box? So just for the sake of scale. Okay. This is what an Apple TV looks like. Okay. This is a device that Apple's been shipping for the past couple of years. It's pretty comparable to the Amazon Fire TV. This has much nicer specs to it, um, but in terms of like ecosystem, it does a lot of the same thing. So there's Apple TV, Amazon TV. This is a little bit wider, but it's also a little bit thinner. Okay. So I mean, they're both pretty small, and once you actually put them under your TV next to your Xbox or PlayStation, you're yeah. pretty much gonna forget they're even there. In fact, in terms of uh, objects which stream video games yes. and <laughs> videos and stuff, here we, we just compared the two of those there. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, I think we One of these things is not like the other. We got this PlayStation 4, I guess. Okay, yeah. there we go. How big is that? Everything's black and shiny. Why is like everything... Onyx. Now, is it still smaller? I can't tell. How about this Wii U? I don't think that does much, but <laughs> maybe that. Is that kind of fit? There we go. There we go. This is a very helpful visual aid. Got the PlayStation oh, 3 yeah. as well, but I don't think that. Oh, this is our empty one. No, it's not. This is a real PlayStation 3. <laughs> I don't think that does some of the. Okay. Whatever. It's old technology. Last we, didn't, we didn't need that PS3 anyways. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> what about the controller? What about the controller? Yeah, yeah. Let's take a look at the controller. All right, here we go. So this is this is why we're focusing on this here on GameSpot.com because, like we said, this is part of Amazon's gaming initiative. They are releasing um, games for this system, their own internally developed games, as well as third-party games like Minecraft. And uh, there's like a whole list of gaming companies on there as well. Do you want to read those off? EA, Ubisoft, and more. Okay, so the list is two and more. I may have over-exaggerated that. Oh, there's more. Sega, Gameloft, Telltale. Boom. Oh yeah, um, Walking Dead is on here. Awesome. 2K and Amazon Game Studios. I believe Kim Swift has joined them. Yes, that's right. And Clint Hawking too. Oh really? Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. So they're hiring some pretty top talent. So you know, here it is. Comes wrapped in plastic. Also comes with free batteries. 
and this is the controller itself. Immediate impressions is that it's obviously styled after the Xbox 360 pad with the offset analog sticks. Yes. Although this, these buttons here definitely make it look like an on-live controller. Yes, I was about to say. Yeah, you remember kind of, that? And also, it, it, uh, without sounding too mean, it's a little bit flimsy like an on-live controller. Just it, a little. It feels a little light. light. That might change yeah. once you actually put the batteries in there. Oh, good point. Um, first impressions. It feel it does feel a little uh, little little flimsy. This is hard to open. Oh is yeah. It, yeah. Could you compare it to a, a, a similar looking controller? I don't know actually because it doesn't really. I mean, it's hard to tell without the batteries in there. So let's right, wait I'll a do moment. That. I'll um, do that. How about how about you, you have a 360 one there at the moment? Uh, yeah. yeah well, you? we have an Xbox One controller. Oh, even better. Yeah. yeah let's pop these in. All right, one hand and one hand. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Going for weight. So. About the same, actually. Right. It actually feels a little bit better. It's got a little bit more heft to it with the batteries in there. And I would say, are, are they are they clicky at the back? These ones or are they? No, they're, they're still triggers. Not not much yeah. motion on the back of them though. No, the not not a whole lot of actuation there. Certainly not as much as an Xbox One controller. Um, it feels a lot. It kind of reminds me of the Wii U Pro controller. Great. So there's a great cultural touchstone for you guys. <laughs> Um, certainly a lot more like the Wii U Pro Controller than an Xbox One controller. It feels a little, I don't know. I mean, these, like, controllers are hard to do right. Like, yeah, yeah. this is so good, and the PS4 controller is so good because it took console generations to iterate yeah. on initial ideas. And even so, it's, it's what you're used to so much of the time as well. Yeah. I'm glad at least the D-pad on that is flat as hell. And in fact, here's something really interesting. If you look at the start buttons on the Xbox One controller and the Amazon Fire controller, they both have those three lines on there. Lines is now standard. Yes, the three lines has apparently become like a standard symbol for video game controllers. Start is dead. Three lines is the future. You know what, how much does it cost? $40. Yeah, you know what? Sure, Yeah. It's fine. I mean, it's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. It all depends, uh, certainly it depends on the types of games that are going to be available for the system and whether it serves those games well. Yeah. Um, yeah, feels feels fine. I don't know. Cool. Yeah. I like it. You like it? 40 bucks, and how much is this? $100. So the whole package... For 140 bucks, I'll be able to watch Netflix and play video games on my television. Finally! <laughs> Finally, the one true device that's gonna allow you to do that. All right, and there you go, guys. That's our unboxing of the Amazon Fire TV and the controller as well. Make sure to stay tuned for more coverage here on GameSpot.com.